Hello, I'll be discussing my tennis elbow protocol. Had some questions on this. I like an elastic resistance like an isotube. Better than weights, this has a much lower chance of flaring you. Loop it, and I put my foot in the loop. Okay, I like to start elbow bent, form supported on the leg. Um, let's just start with wrist extension. I'm gonna do one set of 10 to 15 exercises a day. You get more advanced, maybe twice. I know a lot of protocols will say three times a day. If you're really strong, if you're a collegiate or professional athlete, yeah, three times a day. Otherwise, once a day, maybe twice a day, don't overdo it. So again, wrist extension. Now, eventually you might work up to forearm unsupported, elbow extended, but usually you don't need to go there. It's safest to just stay with the form supported on the leg, elbow flexed, wrist extension. That's number one. Number two, wrist flexion. Again, elbow bend, form supported, 10 to 15, once a day, maybe twice, usually once. Next, pronation. I'm gonna turn the palm up to, oops, up to down. Supination. It's going to start down and just go up, just rotating the forearm. That's number four. So we have wrist extension, wrist flexion, pronation, supination. Those are four. Next, ball squeeze. Start with the elbow bent. Eventually, you might wind up with the elbow extended. Again, 10 to 15 per day. That's it. Don't overdo it. A lot of people will just sit there and do it over and over in the car, you'll flare. Don't do it. Number six, finger extension with rubber band. Again, you can start with the elbow bent, eventually maybe extended, but bent is a lower chance of flaring you. Six exercises, once a day, 10 to 15 repetitions each, wrist extension, wrist flexion, pronation, supination, ball squeeze, finger extension. Thank you.